Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're bringing a new fun deck of the new set of the Prologue to Ataractia. We're bringing in the other ruler that we haven't talked about yet, and that's our girl Dark Alice. She's back, ready to do things with Black White, and it's gonna be crazy. But before we get into it, I remind you to everybody that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. And also, for those that don't know and want to check it out, we do have a new app that we put out called the Forceful Grimoire. F-O-W Grimoire. You can go find it on either Apple or Android. And it is the newest, best deck builder for Force Will there is. Yep. And it... It's really well done as far as we made it because we do, we we all have used them and we put everything we we could to them to make it as best we could. And of course, you can take that with a grain of salt because we made it. But yes, we also think and have gotten pretty good uh, feedback from the community that yeah, it's pretty solid. And it's because of the Patreon that we were able to put this together to put it back to you know the forcible community. Yeah. But without further ado, let's delve into Junkyard Dogs. Yep. With our girl Dark Alice. So she's the new Black White Ruler. And she does not have stranger decks, so just know that all the new ones don't have strangers. Yeah. Um, but it is what it is. She's still really strong. And she has uh, Energize as black-white. It's just not on the text anymore. It's just a thing they get. Yep. And she judgments for a white and a black and a black. So three mana in judgment. And whenever a darkness regalia enters the field under your control, you choose one. Then if the regalia is unknown mother goose, you choose one again. So you can choose the same one twice if you really want to, or you can choose two separate ones. And her two things are gain two light crystals or gain two dark crystals. Simple as that. And either way, you don't really care because you're going to be using both of them. Yep. Uh, her judgment side is a 12-12 or a 12-14. She's got Drain and Bane, which is pretty ridiculous. Which is, yeah, for those stats for sure. Yeah. Uh, enter, search your deck for a fairy tale resonator and put it into the field, then shuffle your deck. You can pay a white, banish two light crystals, target entity gains eternal and barrier. Entity, so anything, even her. Uh, pay a black and banish X darkness crystals, destroy all resonators with total cost X. So you're like, hey, let's kill the board. And then her god's art is Mother Goose Rising. It is a black and a white. Put any number of target fairy tale and or shadow resonators with different names from your graveyard into your hand. So you can get back a whole lot of different stuff if you need to on a god's art. Yeah, and the fact that you can uh, <coughs> do a board wipe and then just come back with it. You know. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. It's just pretty wild. And here we go. We don't have rune decks or strangers as we talked about, <laughs> yeah. so we get right back in the deck here. And our first resonator is a white wolf, one white. It's a four six, and it has drain. And this card gains plus two plus two for each light crystal you control, which is insane. Yeah, they can get there real quick. Yeah, he is one of the guard dogs of the of the junkyard that protects all the crystals. So by turn two, I, if I'm correct, if you choose two light crystals after playing this guy, he's a twelve something, a twelve fourteen turn two. Yeah, so enjoy that. And the other doggo is the Black Wolf, and it is one black for a 6-4 that gets precision and plus two plus two for each darkness crystal you control. Yeah, so same thing. All you want to do in this deck for the most part is to make sure those two doggos are real angry. <laughs> yeah. You just kind of stack gems, stack crystals as best you can. I, I guess you know that whole thing is like, you have two wolves inside of you, which <laughs> one do you feed? Well, you feed both of them. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the next one is well, Shadow X, and it's a one darkness fairy tale resonator. It has Quick Cast and Bane, so that's a good, easy, cheap kill right there. Enter. Gain two crust, uh, Dark Crystals, banish a Dark Crystal, your opponent loses 200 life. I'm sure this can get out of hand real quick. Yeah, this dude's just insane. Like, he, he's little, but okay. Ooh. If he sits in play, you're like, into turn, take some damage. Yeah, because take, you can. Take all the damage or you're dead. Yeah. Uh, we do have the two people that help with it. The King of Kings, which is two white and one for a fairy tale guy, and he's a 9-9. Nine -nine. Other fairy tale resonators you control get plus four plus four, Oof. and then you banish a light crystal, discard this card, target resonator gets plus four plus four, draw a card. So you can use him from your hand to discard to do things to help, um, but otherwise he auto pumps all your dudes. Oh yeah, and then of course we have Save the Queen, uh, two darkness and two. It's a, she's a 12-12 for four. Uh, J slash resonators your opponent controls get minus four minus four, which is crazy. Banish a Darkness Crystal, discard this card, target J Resonator gains minus four, minus four until end of turn, draw a card. So if you need a, a cheap, quick kill, then you can do that. Or you just basically control the board with her. Yeah. Silly. Uh, next up is the Shadow Swords Master, and this card is bonkers in this deck. So yeah. two white and three black for a 15-15. <clears throat> She's got First Strike, Precision, and Barrier of Strangers. 
You may pay a white and two black less to play this card if you have three or more light crystals and three or more dark crystals. So if you yeah, have six happens. crystals, it should cost two mana. Yeah. Kind of nuts. Uh, enter. You may banish any number of light crystals and or darkness crystals. You draw a card for each light crystal that you banish, and your opponent banishes a resonator for each darkness crystal. <laughs> so wow. after those six crystals, you're just like, cool, you lose six dudes or however many darkness crystals you have and draw yeah. cards. It's it's literally free yeah. card draw and kill spell on the same card, yeah. which is nuts. If anything, yeah, with the stipulation of it costing less, then you draw three, they lose three <clears> dudes. <throat> Thank you. Sounds good. Now we'll get in the spells, of course. We have a Schrodinger's Cry. It is a one white uh, mage art. <clears throat> Quick cast. Remove tar target rest of resonator from the game. If this card was awakened, draw a card. And by doing that, you banish a light crystal, which is easy enough to kill something and you draw a card. Yeah. For a cantrip. And for one mana, just to be able to get rid of that just, dude is real good. Because you need a tap to attack, no matter what. Yeah. So yeah, have fun. Next up is Dark Alice's Smile. It is one black mage art. Uh, your opponent reveals their hand. Choose a choose a chant, an addition, a regalia, or stranger resonator from among them and remove it from the game. If this card is awakened, instead choose a card from among them and remove it from the game. Awakening, banish a darkness crystal. So if you banish a darkness crystal, you can also hit a resonator, but otherwise it's, it's it gets pretty, anything you want, yeah. which is really what you need. And that's just a normal one, which is almost as good as the, the other one drop one. Yeah, it's, it's literally going to be the new look of corruption. Yeah. All right, we have uh, Unknown Mother Goose. It's a black and a white regalia. Of course, it has Mythic, so you can only have one on the field. And at the end of your turn, gain a light crystal or a darkness crystal. So that super helps, because it already produces two of, or four of yeah. whatever. Tap produce two will of any combination of white or black. Spend this only to play God's Arts, Fairy Tales, Shadows, or Mage Arts. And the fact that you can play Fairy Tales with it is just free creature ram. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Next up is Shadow Strike. It is two darkness for a sword art and a mage art, which is kind of cool, so you can use it on either one. Yeah. Um, it has quick cast, and then you destroy target resonator, and then if it's awakened, your opponent banishes a resonator as well, so. and you awaken it by banishing two darkness crystals. So you're like, cool, I have an extra darkness crystals, but I don't care. Let's kill two dudes. Yeah, get rid of two dudes. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. Next up is Schrod Schrodinger. Oh, it's an addition. So it's a uh, black and white. So it has quick cast which is pretty cool. Enter. Remove target regalia or resonator you control from the game, then put it in the field rested under its owner's control. So therefore you can get... And so it's immediately, so you can immediately get two more crystals or four more crystals pretty much. Banish a light crystal. This card becomes a 10-10 resonator with drain and eternal until in a turn, so you can quickly block with it. Banish a dark crystal. This card becomes a 10-10 resonator with bane and precision until in a turn, so you can quickly kill with it. Yeah. So... It's really good, really powerful. Yeah, it is pretty ridiculous how much it does. And technically, you can use all, you can use both, and it becomes a 10 10 drain, eternal bane, precision. Yeah, drain bane, eternal precision. Because it, it timestamps it, but it keeps the other abilities. It doesn't remove any of them. Yeah. yeah. So you get to keep all the abilities. It's so, still just a 10 10. Though. So for those people with those minds out there, it's not a 20 20. It's just <laughs> yeah. a 10 10. Yeah. But still, it's uh, it's uh, unkillable. Yeah, machine. it's still worth every bit of it. Yeah. Uh, next up is Cage of Mother Goose. It is a black and a white edition. Uh, you may rest a recovered fairy tale J slash resonator you control rather than pay this card's cost. And enter, remove target non J roller, non magic stone entity from the game. When this card leaves the field, put a card that was removed by this back into the field under its own control. Or into its owner's hand. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's even that's better. Even better. But this card is nuts because it can be free. Yeah. You're like, cool, tap this dude that I just played because I don't need a use for him and let's remove your thing. Oh, you killed it? It goes back to your hand. Play it another time. Yeah, that's it. Instead of two mana, it can just cost a five drop creature. Yeah. And so ridiculous. That is it for the deck. The stones are really simple. We're playing Adaractive Memoria, which is the black white, like the pass for the ruler. And since she's black and white, you get both. Yep. Um, we are playing Magic Stone of the Heaven's Rift, which is the black white dual stone. And we're just playing a light and a darkness stone to fill it out for the full 10 because you have to. And really, there's no other stones that are really worth using for her because you just need the black and white. Simple enough. Yeah, this deck's going to be super fun. It's going to be super, super fun to play just because you're like, hey, make a doggo really angry and swing. Yeah, and turn then two. After the doggo's mad and swung, now I'm going to use all these crystals. There's just, I don't know. It's going it, to be wild. Yeah, it's going to be like just extra synergy for free pretty much. And that's always best and kind of powerful yeah but if you want to see the deck list guys it'll be down below go check it out and leave a like and a comment and we'll see y'all again next time bye later
Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.